Welcome to the Sage Business Cloud Accounting Demo. In this video, you will learn how to set up and handle partially recoverable taxes in Sage Accounting. If you are a GST, HST, or QST registered business, you can claim some of the taxes paid on your expenses on your tax returns. For GST and HST, these entries are called Input Tax Credits, or ITCs. And for the QST, they are called Input Tax Refunds, or ITRs. Some expenses, like meals and entertainment, have partially recoverable input tax credits or input tax refunds. Sage Accounting allows you to account for these cases using your chart of accounts setup. Let's see how to set up partially recoverable taxes for a certain category of expenses. Go to the settings page by clicking the settings tab and select sales tax in the financial settings section. Notice the Input Tax Credits or Refunds section at the bottom of the Sales Tax Settings page. The default part recoverable ITC field is the default percentage specified when enabling the feature for individual accounts, though a specific percentage can also be specified for each individual account. Sage Accounting automatically enters 50% as this is what most businesses would need for meals and expenses. There are, of course, some unique businesses that may need a different percentage. If desired, you can designate a different percentage to be used as the default part recoverable ITC percentage. We'll leave the default at 50%. Now let's enable partially recoverable taxes for a ledger account. Go to the settings page and select chart of accounts in the financial settings section. Input tax credits can be designated for any ledger account. For example, the Meals and Entertainment Ledger account. Notice that at the bottom, if transactions posted to this ledger account have part recoverable taxes, we can check the box. The default percentage we had specified earlier is entered immediately. This can be changed if a different percentage is needed for a specific ledger account. Finally, a non-recoverable tax ledger account can be selected before saving the changes. Now let's see how partially recoverable taxes can be displayed in an expense. We'll create a new expense for drinks purchased at a local coffee place, selecting the meals and entertainment ledger account we had set up earlier. Notice the information pop-up telling us that this item has part recoverable taxes, with further visibility below of the recoverable input tax credit amount. Once saved, the ITC amount can be viewed. This feature is also available in other purchase transactions, such as vendor bills, quick entries, vendor credit notes, as well as bank feeds. Congratulations! You now know how to set up and handle partially recoverable taxes in Sage Business Cloud Accounting.